right i'm i'm in my study i came up here with the intention to just clean it because it's a mess it's dusty there's cobwebs everywhere basically living my dream of uh being miss havisham at the moment so i thought i'd come and clean my study there's books piled everywhere it's only a tiny room and that's my excuse because i've got stacks and stacks of books I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a slow turnaround. Look, this is the nicest part. It's where I usually film my videos. This is my nicest bookcase. Still some crap on the floor. Slowly turn around. Stacks up on that bookshelf. That is untidy. And all of, look, these massive piles here. I've just run out of room, guys. Don't even look at the floor. <gasps> Horrendous. A load of crap down there. And then my main uh, library fitting, which is just all over the place. Um, I'm going to come in show you what I've got up here. Up the top is all of my philosophy books from my undergrad and master's course. So I've kept all those. They've actually come in very handy for my PhD. And then I've from here, these shelves um, are all um, alphabetised fiction. And then down here, I've got um, books on feminism, books on creative writing. And nearer to my desk is um, stuff on Virginia Woolf and um, the French feminists that I'm uh, using in my research. Down here are, is more PhD books. They're all books on... Um, on uh, Giles Deleuze, which is the philosopher that I'm studying. And then <clears throat> more books on literature and criticism. And then right down the bottom where it gets messy. Um, I've got books on witchcraft, folklore, ghost stories, um, which are my favourite. And uh, witchy books to do with the goddess, uh, goddess culture, a random selection, and right in the in the corner is my Harry Potter's. Um, now, terrible, all this horrendous mess down there, stacks and stacks of, when I've bought them and then haven't been able to put them away, I just stacked them up. Um, and it's just, it's dusty and filthy. So what I thought I'd do today, as well as clean, um, I'm going to try and do an unhaul and pull some books off my shelves and depending what I get rid of if anyone's interested um because I can't I can't take them anywhere at the moment because we're in lockdown no charity shops are open um but I could post them out possibly if I've got posting materials um so let's see if this works I'll pull some stuff off my shelves, see if anyone wants it, and then send it out to you guys. I'll let you know how I get on. Okay, so I've been doing this for hours now. <laughs> it's taking way longer than I thought it was. Um, and I am having a break because I need to go outside and mow the lawn. And it's nice and sunny, so I want to get outside. But so far, I have um, taken off dusted and replaced top shelf all of my philosophy books and then one two three shelves of fiction now i don't like doing this where you put books on top of books i think it looks really messy i don't like it but i got no choice because i ran out of room and i didn't want to keep like oh god stacking them all up on the floor which I'm going to have to, but so I have vaguely placed, because <laughs> they're all alphabetised, I vaguely placed um, the books that were on the floor that I can't fit on the shelves into their alphabetised categories. So, uh, yeah, I've got, I'm down to what shelf? So I've done my um, my feminism shelf here. Um and I'm currently doing uh, this shelf, which is the uh, Deleuze shelf and uh, creative writing books on that side. And then a bit of a mishmash in the middle of like uh, critical theory, literary criticism, 
and a little bit of like literary biography but still a mess um everywhere <laughs> everywhere um in my room there's just stuff everywhere um so i'm gonna go have a break go and mow the lawns and um and then come back in and finish it off katie is astounded that there is floor here you rubbing your face on the shelves katie <laughs> Ta-da! Bookshelves. Done. Need some lights and plants on them. I've got my stack there still, which I can't put away. And these two stacks, but you know, it's better than it was. Okay, so it's quite a few days later since I tidied my bookshelves. And uh, they've kind of stayed mostly tidy. But I have ended up with a lot of books that I unhauled. And because charity shops are closed and we can't come into contact with each other, I didn't know how to get rid of them. So they're all just sat piled up in my room. Um, admittedly, I do have these piles, which I've added to recently. Um, but so I thought, what can I do to get rid of the books that I, um, that I have unhauled? Today is World Book Day. So... Um, I am going to set up a little free bookstore outside in my front garden because I live um, really close to a nature reserve and lots of people walk past my house to go to the nature reserve. So I thought what I'd do, I've seen this on Instagram uh, by, firstly by my lovely writing teacher Kerry from Write Like a Girl. She put up a similar um little free library saying help yourself to a book they have been anti-backed I was like that's perfect I can do that so that's what I've done I've just um spent ages cleaning the basket uh, that I use for um I volunteer for Cambridgeshire libraries and I take library books to housebound people or I did until the uh, virus kicked in so I've cleaned my basket with anti-back I have cleaned it, all of the books with Dettol and I um, I've got them in my basket and I'm going to pop this outside in my front garden and hopefully people will pick them up. I have made a little sign saying, please take a book. It's World Book Night. Um, help yourself to a book and read along between seven and eight for the reading hour. Um, don't worry, the books have been wiped with Dettol by freshly washed hands. So hopefully people won't be scared to pick them up. If I just turn the camera around and you can see the books that I have uh unhauled Eww. can you see that um there's quite a selection so we've got uh classics like dh lawrence sons and lovers uh my hands are clean and they're also covered in dirt all dracula look at that dracula looks like he's having a very nice time uh, Persuasion, because I had two copies of this for some reason. Uh, got a classic Philippa Gregory. I just, I've never read any of these. I have a few of them. I think I've got some up there as well. I just, I'm not going to read them, so I'm giving them away. Um, Sylvie and Bruno by Lewis Carroll. What else have we got? And Elizabeth is Missing uh, by Emma Healy. Again, I had two copies of this. I haven't read it, but it's on my TBR, um, and I've got a, a hardback, so I thought I'd keep that one. So yeah, I'm going to pop this outside in my front garden, and hopefully people will see it and pick up the books. I'll let you know how I get on. So a few of the books got taken from the basket, and any that were left over, I just uh, sent out to friends that wanted them. 